Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is phenocaine. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a side port is made about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision. Width of this side port is about 1.7 millimeter. The side port is 90 degree away. Astigmatism produced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side port. A capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterata forceps. Size of this rexis is about 5 millimeter. Nowadays, if the genule is okay, I can do rexis without use of a cystitum. The Rexis forceps directly pierces the center of the capsule and a capsular tag is raised and rexis is completed. Hydrodissection is being done, hydrodelineation is also attempted. We have got a faint golden ring in this case. Now the use of a pre chopper. If we use a pre-chopper in such cases, the use of ultrasonic energy is less and this is in grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis, this kind of nuclei can be easily divided by the pre-chopper. Hard cataracts also can be divided, but you have to train yourself more to do that. In hard cataracts, we can hold the nuclear mass in very well with the FACO handpiece. So, in those cases, use of pre chopper may be avoided. But in soft cataracts, this is, a, this is an instrument of great help. Now, I am using the Oxygen saturation hundred, phosphate eighty six. Fake on it will emulsify the nuclear pieces. Oxygen eighty six. The this is another piece. Autosonic energy used at this time is sixty to seventy percent. Fluorate is forty five ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now I am removing the epinucleus. Most of the cortex has been removed. And now the bit of cortex is there from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Visco to fill up the anterior chamber. The Simco goes through the side port and the cataract and the cortex is removed. Now, the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is filled up with visco. The main wound is enlarged little bit. Size of the main wound becomes about 3 millimeter. And then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal 
intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. And now, there is lot of visco in the anterior chamber in the capsular bag. First, I irrigate with a Simco cannula. Irrigate the capsular bag. And then aspirate a bit. Some air bubbles have gone into the anterior chamber. And now I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration cannoli. The irrigating probe goes first. And then irrigation and aspiration is used together. If we lift off the anterior wall of the main wound, leakage of fluid is less and the anterior chamber depth can be maintained nicely. This is closer of the side port. The side port must be closed st with stromal hydration. Final lavage of the anterior chamber. Visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. We can see that the optic of the intraocular lens is nicely covered by the anterior capsular rim. Integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.